something that's been an unexpected consequence of this work is that as we began working all along the route, we saw how important this coordination was of this ecosystem, especially at times when borders have been more open. We really see a recipe here for ever greater division, stigmatisation and intolerance. Across Borders is an example of how the funder's role is about much more than just funding. We can promote collaboration and peer learning. Hi, I'm Josie Norton and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Help Refugees Choose Love. When we began um, our work in 2015, we never ever expected that there would still be a need for us in 2020. But what we've seen in this crisis that's so often a humanitarian crisis on the ground is that it's actually a political crisis. And this is a crisis of political will. Over the last five years, we've seen a kind of erosion and upholding of human rights of the Refugee Convention. The, the, the layers of complication are, are huge. And sometimes I think that it, the kind of responsibility gets battered around. But the bottom line is, if we take Moria in Greece as an example where I am now, that camp that had 13,000 people living in it with a space of 3,000 um, has burned down. Those people should not be living in a camp. They should not be living on an island. Hi, my name's Joe Robertson, and I'm the co-artistic director of Good Chance. We look around the world today and see a planet that's more divided than it's been in living memory. People are increasingly isolated and atomised in their countries and communities and leaders all across the world are seeking to exploit people's fear of the outsider. We feel passionately that art is the secret weapon of filling the empathetic deficit that has been created and making a bolder argument for how we welcome the most vulnerable in our society. Hello everyone, my name is Mahdi Saad, I'm from Sudan. I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you for everyone who involved in this project. My name is Hadrid Daly and I'm a Portfolio Manager at Comic Relief. I lead on the migration strand of our social change strategy and manage a diverse portfolio of funded partners who work with refugees and people on the move, helping them to safe, legal and dignified routes to settlement. Our aim was to build a cohort of funded partners, all pulling together in the same direction, rather than just making a collection of disjointed grants. We wanted this cohort to include organisations supporting refugees on every step of their journey, from those working with displaced people on the, on the start of their journey in Syria, to UK-based resettlement organisations. We're also helping organisations to coordinate across national borders, and we're opening up opportunities to tell their stories, when told in the right way, it is these stories that can help shift the public conversation. My name is Oscar Bingham and I'm an Evaluation and Learning Manager at Comic Relief. The route-based approach we adopted with Across Borders also lends itself to collective learning. Through a series of convenings and other engaging activities, our funding partners can support each other, share challenges, insights and learning, hear from sector experts, collaborate together in a sector that often struggles to coordinate effectively and build a stronger collective voice. First, we build theatre domes. These are big physical spaces, often in crisis situations like camps and emergency accommodation centres. They're spaces for expression, connection and reflection where people who are on the move can come together with local people and create artistic events, relationships and performances. The idea of the dome started back in 2015 by Joe and Joe and it was so vital as well for the refugees and the local society as well because it gave them the foundation to become close to the refugee and have better understanding and better idea about the refugees, who they are and where they come from. Next spring, Good Chance will embark on our most ambitious project to date. We're going to walk from Gaziantep on the Turkey-Syria border all the way to Manchester in northern England. It's an odyssey of many thousands of miles and about 12 international borders. And at the centre of that journey is a young girl called Little Amal. She's from Aleppo in northern Syria. 
And the only difference between Amal and the many millions of unaccompanied children who've been forced to flee their homes in recent years is that Amal is a four metre tall, giant, beautiful puppet. It's a big, bold, ambitious attempt to unite communities in 12 different countries all across the route. And our provocation to our partners is very simple. This young girl is walking through your village, your town, your city. How do you welcome her? The refugee in, in the public perception is someone who's very vulnerable, who needs our help. And of course, there are aspects of this that are true. But at the same time, people who've been forced to flee their homes possess very powerful, very important voices. And Amal is no exception. Amal is strong, she's tall, she's proud, she's a really, really powerful girl. She's going to grow into a really important woman with amazing talents, amazing skills and something important to say. She has something crucial to offer to all of our communities, to all of our societies. And we hope that she will achieve that in her participation in all of the artistic events from across, across the route. Um, something that's been an unexpected consequence of this work is that as we began working all along the route we saw how important this coordination was of this ecosystem and we will have someone who is a participant in services in Turkey and then also on the islands in Greece and then also in the Balkans and then possibly also in Calais. As an example, very recently, an organisation in Greece was able to let us know about a very vulnerable case that had travelled to France and really needed support there. And again, in our network, we were able to connect um, that organisation up with an organisation in France who were able to, to support um, this vulnerable case. The Cross Borders is an example of how the funder's role is about much more than just funding. We can promote collaboration and peer learning, supporting the civil society organisations we fund to work towards peace and justice. 